when you only have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Like if you're trying to scrape data from a website, you've probably seen a lot of scraping hammers out there that treat every site the same, like a nail. They typically involve complicated Python, using proxies, setting up CSS selectors for visual screen scraping, and God knows what. And just to get a tiny sliver of data back using one of these traditional web or screen scrapers, you either have to install something or configure something entirely complicated just for the site you're looking at before you can even know if it'll work or not. So while a lot of the web scrapers out there are indeed useful, it's sometimes difficult to know that upfront. In this video, I'm going to share a way where you can simply scrape any website using a browser and get some more diagnostic information on how that site works. So you can either just use the browser or better pick the right tool for your custom job. Thanks to a little known specification called HAR or HTTP archive, we can configure any major web browser to record the raw data that websites we want to scrape are sending and receiving between us and the server. We can then export all that data from our browser into a HAR file and look at that file first because it may already contain the data we're after. And if not, it'll give us insights and clues in how to approach our scraping at a later stage before investing more heavily in a customized tool. Let me show you how it works with a quick random use case. Let's say we want to scrape all of our followers on Instagram. We open up our Google Chrome browser or whatever browser you want to use and head on over to Instagram.com. Now in Google Chrome, we just right click anywhere on the page and click inspect. This will open up the developer tools, which will then begin recording the raw data sent and received from our browser to Instagram. Now, while it's recording, I'm going to scroll through my list of followers. So I'm recording the raw data that Instagram sends to my browser as I scroll through my list of followers. Once I'm all done, I just go to the network tab and click export HAR and I get my HAR file saved to my desktop and I can see what sort of data I can identify to try and match up my list of followers I'm seeing on the website to what's in the HAR file that has the raw data. So let's open up the HAR file and you'll see it's a big JSON file. It has a lot of stuff in it. So one trick I use to find where the followers would be is to search this file for an identifying phrase I saw on Instagram. Like I'll look for my personal account, Steve Seagram, because I know it's in the list of followers and that'll tell me exactly where in this HAR file to find the data you're after. So here I can see my own username in my list of followers and good news. It appears to be in a JSON structure, meaning that Instagram is sending the list of followers as a JSON array to the browser. The browser is then doing the work to translate that JSON array into HTML, which is then presented. So if you were to use an HTML screen scraper, you'd be doing somewhat unneeded work that's bound to change and break because the HTML screen scraper is going to try to get the follower list based on that outer layer, the presentation layer. But if you just do a little bit of work, which I'm going to show you next, you can look into ways to access the raw JSON instead, which is much more reliable and less likely to break in the future. Now, if we do want to go that route and try to get the JSON back from Instagram, we can see how to do it by looking at the request portion of the HAR file over here. We can see the raw HTTP requests, including the URL and the headers that was used to access Instagram servers and return back the JSON array of my followers. Now, if you've seen some of my older videos, I like to joke about this because there's nothing stopping one from hypothetically accessing these endpoints in the future to get structured data back. However, after talking with a few lawyers this past year, I highly suggest you do not do this. The moment you access the URL found in the HAR file outside of an official Instagram client, like their website or mobile app, you may, I repeat may, this is a very gray legal area, be guilty of trespass because you are now accessing a server outside of an official client that was provided to you. Even though the official client is just going to go and access that URL anyway, 
I could see them building a case where it could be trespassed because they may want to have more control over the client. Furthermore, many of these websites are getting more and more aggressive on blocking access and also harming your IP address reputation if you're not using a proxy, and they'll also end up banning your accounts if they're associated with the authentication headers you end up reusing. So unless you want to worry about a company banning your IP address or your account, or worst case scenario, bringing you to court for unauthorized access to their servers, it's best just not to mess with accessing these URLs outside of an official client. Now, I'm not stupid. I know people out there are going to go and try and keep accessing these unofficial endpoints. Just do it at your own risk. You don't know what you're messing with. However, let's not overlook the silver lining we have here with this HAR file. All of the data in this HAR file is fair game for scraping. Because you saw me, I accessed Instagram on an official Instagram client, logged in following Instagram's terms of service, and they gave me the data. Because it's already been captured, I can't be guilty of trespass or unauthorized access because I'm not accessing it again. I'm getting the data from the recorded HAR file now, not Instagram servers. So then the problem becomes, well, how do I get all this JSON data out of the HAR file and do something useful with it? It sounds like a lot of work. I'll need to write some custom code to parse the HAR file and then combine all the JSON requests together. Well, guess what? Because HAR file is a standard and because most websites send data back in JSON format, which is also a standard, I've developed a free tool I'm going to show you that takes advantage of both of these standards and lets you instantly parse out a HAR file and analyze it to see where the valuable JSON lives. You can even search through the HAR file to find what you're looking for and download those little bits of valuable JSON all for free. This is the Steve C HAR file web scraper. It's available to anyone for free at an anonymous URL. You don't need to be signed up or giving your email address or anything. And best of all, it all runs in your browser. Because HAR files contain all those headers and cookies, they have sensitive information. You want to be very careful anytime you give a HAR file to anyone, either email, if it's customer support, etc. However, with this tool, it runs only in your web browser. You could disconnect from the internet and it would still work with a HAR file you got after using Instagram or a similar website normally. So let's take that HAR file we got from our Instagram followers and drag and drop it into the Steve C HAR web scraper. And here, Steve C automatically found the requests in the HAR file that were used to get my follower list by analyzing the patterns of the request and responses to Instagram. And it's also showing me the pictures here, which were taken from the HAR file. It's not reaccessing Instagram for images. Please don't do that. I can also use this tool to search for identifying information I found visually like I demoed before. So let's say, for example, this didn't automatically find what I was looking for. I can just type in any random search term like my username and it'll show me exactly where the requests are that contain that data. Once Steve C shows me the requests where all that valuable data came from, I can then catalog these endpoints such as on the Steve C data platform. So the next time I use a HAR file, I know exactly where to look. I can also download the individual requests and get all the little JSON bits back from my follower list. And if you can't find the data you're looking for using this tool, that tells you that the website is probably baking the data into its HTML and serving it to you that way. That unfortunately means you probably do need to use a screen scraper, but you can go down that path and find the right screen scraper for that site knowing that you've tried the other option and you can't really find a good way to access the raw JSON data. Now, there's just one more thing. What if, let's say, you don't need any more reaccess and everything in this file is good? Like I said, you just needed to scrape your list of your own followers. We have it here sitting in front of us. The only problem now is that JSON list is divided amongst a couple different requests. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just combine them all into a single list and get them in CSV format so we could open them up in Excel, put them in Google Sheets, a database, etc. Well, for premium Steve C data members, they can do exactly this. You just click the parse button on the top of the group 
it'll combine all of the files together and automatically parse the JSON into usable CSV files. You can then just click and download it as expanded CSV, open it in Excel and do whatever you want with it. You've now scraped a site into CSV format using nothing but your web browser. No tools, nothing to install, no extensions or plugins, and most importantly, no headache or hammered in walls. Just remember, while it was legal to get this data because Instagram already sent it to us while properly using their website, most of the time the legal issues arise from what people choose to do with the data they collect. For example, if you republish someone's work without their permission, that can be a copyright legal problem. Or if you spam a bunch of emails you got from Instagram or elsewhere, then you can get in a lot of trouble with the GDPR or worse. So just because you got the data doesn't mean you can do literally whatever you want, but whatever you want within reason. Please drop a like here if you learned something new today and subscribe for more because we're going to be taking this HAR tool and exploring every corner of the internet and see what kind of interesting data we can pick up from any website out there. So if you want to follow along for this journey, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.